Howdy folks, Sandra Lee here, aka Nocturnal Butterfly, coming at you from Ontario again to show you how easy it is to make homemade caramel apples. Stay planted! What you will need for this recipe is eight large tart apples, or any apples of your choice. If they're smaller, just add more apples. Eight wooden chopsticks for handles, or as I'm using, I'm using popsicle sticks. And I'll show you how to insert them right now. Take your stick, stick it in there. Super easy like that. Now you'll have a little bit of juice come out, so just leave them for a few minutes and then wipe that off, because you don't want anything wet on it, okay? And in my pan here, I have a cup of butter, two cups of packed brown sugar, you can use any type, dark brown, light brown, I'm using old fashioned. One cup of light corn syrup and one can of sweetened condensed milk, about a 14 ounce can. Now if you don't have sweetened condensed milk, you can also use creamer. I will put a recipe in the description down below for that. However, do not use milk, you need something thicker than milk. Okay, and for my corn syrup, this is what I use here. It's the crown corn syrup, it's uh, white, they call it clear. And once you're, it's empty, don't throw that bottle out. Tip it upside down somewhere and you still get at least a couple tablespoons out of that bottle. And you're also gonna need a teaspoon of vanilla. Now you can use vanilla paste, vanilla extract, or vanilla bean, in which case I'm using vanilla bean because these are gonna be for the grandkids, so extra special. You also need, uh, like you can see here, a medium-sized saucepan. Preferably something smaller around, not something that's wider around, like this. You see how it's, it's not, you know, you don't want it too wide around so that you can dip your apples in a lot easier. And you will need a candy thermometer, like this one here. Put your saucepan on high, and we're gonna bring that to a boil. In the meantime, you're gonna to wanna to prepare your space for your apples. So get a good clean space, lay out a parchment paper. You can put it on a cookie sheet or anything that you like and just have that ready for when your mixture comes to a boil. And you wanna keep stirring this. And now once it comes to a boil, you're gonna to wanna to reduce your heat to medium. And we'll be back when that happens. Okay, our mixture has come to a boil. It's about been about about seven minutes, so we're going to reduce the heat. I put mine about medium, medium low there. Okay. And you got to keep stirring constantly to prevent burning until your candy thermometer reaches 248 degrees Fahrenheit or 120 degrees Celsius. It should be about 25 or 30 minutes. We'll be back when that time has come. All right, we're back now and our thermometer has reached the acquired temperature. So we are going to remove it and you must work quickly. So make sure you have all of your apples ready. And we're just gonna take them. Very, very careful. I want to get a little bit up to the stick there. See all those beautiful spots of real vanilla? So yummy. Get them onto your parchment paper as quickly as possible. Now you can work in a couple batches at a time. Now is when you want to, if you want to add toppings, sprinkles, peanuts, candy, anything. You want to add it now while the apples are still warm. Okay, we're going to keep on doing this until all of our apples are covered. We'll be back. Alrighty, we're back now and they're all done and I decorated a few of them with some sprinkles and such for the kids. Some of them I left plain. Look at that beautiful vanilla. Definitely want to add the real vanilla if you can. If not, it doesn't matter. They're still delicious. Either way. What's your favorite way to eat them, plain or with toppings? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. And a huge thank you to all of my fabulous subscriber friends. As always, please take good care of yourself out there. Stay safe. 
and much love. I almost forgot to tell you what to do with that extra caramel. If you have some extra caramel left over, grab a pan, butter it really good, and put that extra caramel in there. And when it's all hardened up for you, you cut it, wrap it into wax paper, and you have yourself some little caramels anytime you want. I'll insert a picture here to show you. Bye for now.